the story of Jalen Hurts. I pulled my children into the room. Got their attention for literally 45 seconds. <laughs> How does Philip Rivers do it? At any rate. <laughs> Nine kids. Uh, what are they doing? Not yet, but it's soon to come. At any rate, I pulled him in the room and I told him the story real quick about Jalen Hurts. And if somehow, some way you're sitting here listening to the show, watching the show, and you don't know the story of Jalen Hurts, he's a kid who was there at Alabama, poured his guts out, trying to win a national championship for this team. Last year, started the national championship game against Georgia, got pulled at halftime for a poor first half. There's also word that Tua told Oklahoma, uh, told Alabama, you don't play me today, I'm transferring. That still, to this day, has not been confirmed, right, Chris? Don't like confirm, so. like, like lock, confirm, like lock, like lead pipe right. lock. Right. Okay. So it's still a rumor out there. But kid Tua comes in, was just a revelation, and started this season. And Jalen Hurts sat waiting for an opportunity. Didn't transfer. Kelly Bryant did, right, in uh, Clemson, or left the school. Man, and many other kids have every right. I want to say this, too, because... Uh, Molly Knight, who I love and follow on Twitter and is a, a great writer, author. She pointed out that anybody who's about to say what I'm about to say about Jalen Hurts is implying that kids who leave school when they've lost their job, when they've lost their starting opportunity, when they've lost their opportunity to put film together, put plays on film for the next level, when they transfer, they're viewed as quitters. They're viewed as giving up. They're, viewed, they're making a business decision. I understand. That said, Jalen Hurts stayed put, waited for an opportunity, and got it in the SEC championship game against the same team he lost his opportunity against last year in the same building. Come on. Can't make it up. And... Came in in that game with Tua Hurt, and Jalen Hurts won a football game. Now, Kirby Smart did inexplicably go for a fake punt with Justin Fields on the field for the first time in a punt formation. You're basically wearing just a neon sign, we're about to fake. We're and it wasn't about e to fake. Wasn't even fourth and short. And Alabama kept their defense on the field. It's just like if there's any time to call off the, if you will, dogs, that's it. Oh, my gosh. See, give him a short field with three minutes to go as well. And all timeouts remaining. Oh, my goodness. But Jalen Hurts still had it. You have to still execute and get it done. And he did. And he won the game. And the only thing I can compare this to of what I've seen in my lifetime is Drew Bledsoe coming in for Tom Brady in the 2001 AFC Championship game in Pittsburgh for an injured Brady to whom he lost his job earlier in the season and won that football game, leading to what I think is going to happen, unfortunately, to Jalen Hurts, which is Belichick's going to had a decision and Saban's going to do the same thing. I think when they play against Oklahoma, a very deserving four seed, I'm sorry, and that has nothing to do with Ohio State and Michigan. Please understand that. Kyler Murray is incredible. I know Haskins has been remarkable as well. Losing once to Texas beating every team on your schedule, as my, our friend Zach from Century City pointed out, beat every team on their schedule because they beat Texas in the second opportunity of playing them. And Texas had them a couple of times in that game. That was an excellent Big 12 game. And Kyler Murray, oh my gosh, the game-winning throw and catch was remarkable. You cannot compare a loss to Texas to a loss on the road to Purdue, I am sorry. And Oklahoma played a far more consistent regular season of excellence than Ohio State did. Ohio State is a red-hot team coming in, but they got it right. And when Oklahoma takes on Alabama, I think they're going to see Tua if he is healthy to go and say, thank you, Jalen Hurts. Stay right there. We may need you because Tua may not be 100%. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.